All right, good afternoon. Um, We're convening the diversity equity and inclusion subcommittee meeting for the Clark County Charter Review at 12.01 p.m. on July 5th, 2021. Um, this one hopefully will be a brief meeting. We just have one main item to discuss. Uh, I was hoping to have Chuck do a brief uh, review of the changes to the amendment proposal um, and just to kind of bring us back to the same place um, and give an opportunity for anyone to offer thoughts on that. Um, and then one other thing that I had brought up over email was just a question of whether we should include a, um, a do this by date. And we can hear thoughts on that too. And then I was thinking we could do a vote on what direction we'd like to take after hearing thoughts. Um, and then we'll do a, a little go to the order and, uh, and close out. So Chuck, if you, if you, would you mind, oh, I can bring it up on the screen um, if you'd like to just kind of uh, recap really quickly what uh, the adjustment was. Yeah, go, go ahead and, and bring it up. Um, because on Thursday or Thursday, Saturday, um, we got input from Kathleen Otto. Um, and basically what she wanted to do, we, we said we gave her a couple of options. Um, we had some discussion with the uh, prosecuting attorney staff as well um, as to what um, it could or could not say. And um, so anyway, this is what um, Kathleen offered up on Saturday was um, basically to uh, that section A, which is the upon voter approval, the county will immediately initiate the process to establish a Department of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, um, in, uh, including but not limited to budget allocation, uh, classification, compensation, development, and recruitment. And then it's under the um, county manager's office. Now in that um, summary, and uh, also that the chief officer, she, we did have language about the chief officer um, and there's what they serve as. She added, um, let's see, she added and recruit into that um, section somewhere. Now I'm not seeing it. Um, where did, where did that end up? Uh, maybe it didn't make it. It was um, what she added was the chief officer of the diversity, equity, and inclusion department will work with the county manager to establish and recruit a commission. Um, yeah, there it is on diversity, equity, and inclusion consistent with section 3.3b of the charter now section 3.3b of the charter was actually um mcclemon's suggestion because that's the section that talks about the county manager making appointments to commissions so um, it's just a reference to make sure we're doing that consistent with um, the established section in the charter now what kathleen said in sending this making these changes or pr this proposal was she wanted to emphasize the immediacy of going forward to the steps to establish the department while providing some flexibility to allow for the recruitment to be done both for the employee and the commission the ability to recruit for employees and commissions can be challenging at times depending on the job market etc um, so instead of a date certain to establish the department what she put in there was a trigger provision that once this gets voter approval she'll start that process to establish the department um, we left in um, that yellow highlighted text below we left in within six weeks of hiring the um, the director um, with six within six months of establishing department uh, to establish the uh, DEI commission. And so that was, um, let's see, I'm not sure if that was her. Yeah, she did not, yeah, she didn't, she did include the six months. 
so in in hers so um that yellow highlight was just something that um we had added or a couple of us had added and trying to get kathleen Otto to weigh in and she kept that provision in there for what she proposed so essentially she's proposing to immediately begin the process to establish the department to um to de develop a um what does she call it with the budget um initiate the process to establish or budget allocation and i'll talk a little bit about what that means in a bit um and then begin the recruitment uh for that position now with budget allocation uh one of the things that was originally in our ethics uh, resolution was to budget for an ethics commission. Uh, the Chris Cook and Amanda Michael Brink, who are the prosecuting attorneys supporting us on the legal reviews, pointed out that the county manager has no budget authority. All they can do is propose a budget, but it's actually up to the county council to adopt a budget. And as far as the charter is concerned, we can't tell the county council to adopt a budget. Or we can't tell, um, we, we can't include a budget provision in our resolutions because the budget authority rests with the county council. Um, and so this begin the budget allocation was a kind of a compromise wording because the county manager does allocate the budget or propose a budget under the charter the county council is actually charged with adopting the budget we don't have the leverage to tell the county council how to adopt a budget um, it's just a it's a power given to the legislative branch in the charter so that's that's why you see the wording as it is and why you won't see the wording adopt a budget in the ethics um, resolution. Great, thank you, Chuck. Um, so uh, we had that adjustment. Um, and, and the other thing that that I was, uh, my, my question to bring to the group here was uh, whether to put a do this by date on it or not. Um, because this writes it out so that it says they will initiate the process, but um, does not say that it will be done by a certain date. I'm interested in your thoughts. I like it how it is personally, but uh, let's open it up for discussion. There's just four of us, so go ahead and just let's converse. Or maybe go to Terry first, if you have uh, thoughts to share. No, I'm, I'm no. good with whatever you guys decide. Okay, no, no strong feelings about whether to put an end date on it or not. I don't think she heard the question. I don't have a, any strong feelings. If you guys think a end date is good, then I'm okay with it. Okay. Jeff, any thoughts? Uh, definitely no strong feelings on it. I mean, that'd be jumping way ahead here. Um, I I don't think it's necessarily necessary. I I I don't. Um, it's not a big deal. I don't think it's that big of a thing. That's just me, though. Maybe someone else is very passionate. Maybe Chuck is going to come around and say, no, no, this is not how it works. It needs to be on this date at this time at this <laughs> second. So, uh, but no, I don't have any strong feelings here. Yeah, I don't really either. I'm kind of in favor of it as it is. I just wanted to make sure that we had the, the chance to do it. I'm, I'm inclined to just trust that the work will get done. Um, any, any yeah, uh, yeah, let me, um, I'm, I'm actually good with what Kathleen proposed. It's actually a little better than I had originally proposed to her. Um, I talked to Doug Glasher earlier today and he, his experience with trying to set dates to recruit for a certain position especially when it's going to take qualifications. Um, he had angst with that because he's already had a bad experience. Uh, he was recruiting for a deputy treasurer a few years ago. 
and um, had somebody all lined up. They had signed the offer sheet, and then the day before they were supposed to start, they decided they're not going to take the position. And so, what, putting a date certain in there um, really puts a lot of pressure on the county manager to try to develop the qualifications, recruit, get somebody, make sure that they actually fill the position. And so um, I know that we're a little bit of um, captive to the county manager going, making sure they actually go through the process, but I don't see any other option. I don't think you can put a date certain, especially for one that's going to need the qualifications of this position. It's, it's going to be it's going to be kind of tough to find somebody to fill that role. Yeah, especially with a brand new department. Yeah, it's going to be a big job for whoever does take it on. Um, Absolutely. Okay. So, so I'm good. I'm I'm good with this. I'm willing to package this up and uh, include it in the packet. I'm going to be sending out to the county or to Tina tomorrow to um, put on the website and send it to all the commission. So. Uh, I will take out the yellow highlight though. Certainly. Um, so it, it sounds uh, good to me. Let's just make it official. Um, I move that we accept this language uh, as written with the adjustment of removing the yellow highlight uh, moving forward. I'll second it. Anybody opposed? I'll third it. Four? <laughs> all right, let's do it. And that's all I have for the agenda. Anything for good of the order? I think you, I, I just want to congratulate, um, just to give you a heads up. Um, there will be an item on Wednesday night's agenda to dissolve the subcommittees. And that's just because they've all done their work. Um, and I just want to give my thanks and congratulations for how much effort you all have put into this. I think this is a really good proposal. Um, and I compare it to the one I originally put on the table back in February. I think this is a really good, um, good way to go. I think I like how it's turned out. Sounds good. Thanks for the heads up, Chuck. Yeah, it, it, it'll be definitely uh, a nice reset for the next phase of the charter stuff. Will be good for figuring out what we need moving forward. So with that, I'll adjourn the meeting and stop recording. All right. All right.